With millions of Americans on alert for severe weather, a new warning. Every year, an average of 300 people drown in their cars, and authorities are now offering a different piece of advice. ABC's Matt Gutman behind the wheel testing the new way to escape. In a crash like this, we're engineered to react with a single emotion. Terror. But this isn't an accident. We're learning how to survive an emergency from the Indiana State Police. Basically what I'm trying to do is create the, um, the stop, drop and roll for the 21st century. Seatbelts, windows, children out. The old way of thinking was that the only way to survive was letting the car fill with water before opening the door. Not anymore. Unless you want that to be your final resting place. You get out while the car is on the surface. So in the car with us, a baby CPR doll in the back seat, divers in the water, and one in the car for our safety. All right, it's go time. Water is flooding in. Try the door now, see if you can open it. Time ticking faster now. My pulse quickens. Pull that. Always keep a sharp object or window punching tool, like the one I'm using, in the car. And never use your phone until you're out of the car. If you touch your cell phone, you're probably going to die. You've got about a one minute period when you can open the windows before the water gets up above the side windows. I shimmy out as water engulfs the car. A few tense seconds later, the experts pop out. They're training the difference between being a victim and escape. Matt Gutman, ABC News, New York.